Competitive research, uh, competitive edge research conducted a survey asking for the public's opinion on Sandag. Joining us to discuss the results, President of Competitive Edge Research, John Neenstead. John, thanks for joining us. Great to be here. For those who might not be familiar with your company, tell us exactly what you did and how this came to be. Sure. We're a 35-year-old survey research firm based here in San Diego, but we work all across the country. Jason, we've done this uh, barometer, as we like to call it, for about a year now. We take different topics throughout the county that could be the county should be aware of and look at them for instance homelessness housing sure. cost of living that sort of stuff this time we took a look at public transportation in sandag okay so you you've done the survey or you were still working we, we did the survey absolutely 500 uh residents in san diego county okay and um randomly sampled high quality survey okay so what did you find when it comes to Sandag? Well, in Sandag's case, they're struggling um, as far as the uh, job approval rating. So we've only got 1% saying they're doing an excellent job, 10% saying the association is doing a good job. Sandag, of course, is the agency that's responsible for a lot of community, countywide uh, projects and infrastructure, things like that. Um, and on balance, you've got 28% saying they're doing a poor job. Um, and uh, a lot of people saying they're only doing a fair job. So there's a big difference there between the poor job and the fair job, the good job. Um, they are struggling as far as an, as an agency goes. And does the survey tackle specific issues related to Sandex? Yeah, we asked about the VMT or vehicle mileage tax mm -hmm. that has been talked about for a while. Uh, we want to know, what do San Diegans think about this? Uh, we asked about a sales tax to pay for the large programs that they're trying to uh, uh, get for, put forward on the ballot. So we asked about those two things, both of them not acceptable to the public, right? Um, we're looking at large majorities who dislike the vehicle mileage tax, um, a majority who dislike the um, vote, the vote on the san on the sales tax. Uh huh. So those were the only two issues in the survey. Yep. Okay. And it is, to say the least, it's not favorable for Sandag. Correct. Okay. And uh, do we have any solutions? In uh, mind? Or, or how do you, as as the one who conducts the survey? Sure. Is that, is that it's still in your lane? It, they're few and far between because you've got a situation where the public nowadays, when we analyze the data, there's a lot of negativity. And this probably shouldn't come as a surprise to you or your viewers, right? Sure. Um, there's a lot of negativity. It's a very unsettled situation right now in the, in the public. The civic mood, as we like to call it, is uh, not, not good. And so the timing is poor for things like tax measures, asking voters to tax themselves. Not good. Um, you got other issues as well, but that's really... Uh, the the real issue is the timing of it. The other issue would be the secondary issue would be Sandag itself. We already talked about it. Sandag is not uh, held in good graces of the public, and so when you've got an agency putting forward these things, their their numbers or the approval rating has got to be much better in order to push things across the finish line that require a tax increase. And so the results of your survey are called the barometer. Yeah. We, we, have, have they been released yet? Has the barometer oh yeah, been yeah. released? Go to our website, cerc.net. You can see them all there. And it's not, and not just Sandeg. We're talking about countywide, right? Oh, absolutely, yes. Okay, so no problem. What's the website again? cerc.net. Very simple. cerc.net. All right, John, thanks for your time. Thank you. Sure appreciate it.